In a crisis, it is also interesting because we all respond very differently in a crisis. There are people who are calm, there are people who will panic, and there are people who will think about uh, I mean, if you think about it if you're on a plane and you hit some turbulence, you grab, you hold on to the chairs and you say, you know, you, you, you want to remain calm. And there are people who say, we steady the ship. How do we make sure that this company does not sink? But this company is going to be here tomorrow, it's going to be here after tomorrow, and then you need those voices that say, but are we thinking about how to get out of this? What our operating model will look like when we are out of this crisis, what the market will look like. So that you then have views that say, let's steady the ship, but let us also look beyond the current problems and try to position ourselves. You can't steady the ship, for example, in the current crisis. Very, uh, companies have done a lot of things. Some have reduced the operations, some have cut costs by cutting salaries of employees, and then there are those that say, we, we focus on this particular aspect. Now, you, employees will not be happy because they are also struggling. They have obligations and so on. And so you may lose your best talent in, in the process of doing this. Uh, if you focus on a particular segment of society, uh, you may be outcompeted or you may want to return to the others uh, when life has moved on for those people. And, and, and so in a crisis, you need diverse views on what is the best way to navigate this crisis. Okay? How do we balance the interests of, 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 of the various stakeholders who are going to be affected uh, by, by, by our decision? Uh, and, and so again, in a, diversity is important in normal times, but also important uh, during, during the crisis. But in moments of crisis, even beyond crisis, there is no single source of growth. Different, there's what we call in the management science, generational kinetics. Every generation and every gender uh, uh, has its own interests, preferences, and needs. And if you are a board member of the 21st century, you have to keep interrogating your assumptions, preconceived notions, biases, and prejudices all the time around especially the decision-making machinery of an organization. Uh, it's one thing to believe that you know, but it's sort of another to verify and validate that truth. So the more we have everyone included and involved, the greater we build productive synergies that will enable us to overcome a crisis. So uh, the issue of diversity, the issue of equity, the issue of inclusion is more about harnessing productive synergies around complex challenges and problems. And, and we have everybody on board, representing all the interests and all the preferences, and that is what drives business. That's what creates sustainability. That's what creates a sense of purpose in the business.